Hello, it's Sunday, June the 20th. Happy Father's Day. Today, our verse comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verses 9 through 16. Here's the word of the Lord. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I mediate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is entitled, Embodying God's Word, Cindy Shomo North. Before the days of global positioning systems, getting directions and finding our way to geographical locations was greatly dependent on possessing a map. I remember how my father's almost sixth sense for geography and knowing his direction would be very advantageous to our family when traveling. On these occasions, when detours would pop up during our travels in a car, my father invariably found an alternate route to save time without giving it much thought. While it may have seemed like impulse and happenstance that he could find his way without much struggle, the more likely explanation is that this was a result of the many hours my dad enjoyed studying his maps. When the psalmist recognizes the guilt, the difficulty of youth being pulled away from God, he reflects on how God's word can be the map and compass to keep us on the right path. This will not come easy without treasuring God's word. When we know the great value and power that God's word truly brings, we will desire to spend time waiting and studying that word. The hymn is by Clara H. Scott, Open My Eyes That I May See. Open my eyes that I may read more of thy love in word and deed. And from Matthew chapter 13 verse 23. But the seed follow, falling on good soil refer, refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. And this is your daily devotion for Sunday, June the 20th. Have a blessed day.